last year on Bria's closet. The next person I have is Dwight. Hey, Dwight. <laughs> so my favorite look of the week will have to go to Tamar Braxton. If you don't know, she's on the new talk show, The Real, and this whole week she has been slurred. Third favorite look is going to go to, drum roll please, <laughs> the arrow. For wearing white pants, ladies, please wear black panties. Please. Like, that was one of the rules that my mother taught me years ago. If, because I would have been like that, walking around with pink panties, with this. This week, I'm sorry, Beyonce. I'm sorry, Beehive. But I have to give Beyonce worst look of the week. <laughs> Beyonce my fashion update for today. Um, my one fashion update is. I lit it down the side with like gold trimming and then the matching boots with it and that's all. But after, she was very graceful about it. She wrote on Twitter, oh my god, I'm so happy I got it. <laughs> In the head by Victoria's Secret the Model Talk. The amount of times Nikki has said that these sons, these hoes are my sons, these girls are my sons. Like I really feel like Nicki Minaj is my birth mother. The amount of times. <laughs> Like, she really be telling you, I'm your mother, you're my son. And I'm like, my name turns from Bria to Brian. Like, I'm her son. That is, I swear Nikki's my birth mother. Hey, everybody. It's Bria Van Kooten here. And welcome to another episode of Bria's Closet. Happy New Year and welcome back to more fashion, fashion, fashion talk. If this is your first time watching my show, then welcome. If you're coming back for another year, hello and welcome back. We are going to talk about more fashion, more celebrities, more looks, more everything. Let's get into it. So before I get into anything, I just want to say that I had a new set in mind. I wanted to record in my basement. And I wanted to have a clothing rack behind me full of clothes every week with different items. But, short, long story short, yesterday I missed my shipment and I've been waiting today all day. It's 3.36 and they still haven't shipped my clothing rack. So I just was like, you know what, F it. I just want to record because it's getting later and I just want to record my episode. Hopefully... Well, by next week for sure, not hopefully. By next week for sure, I will have the clothing rack. And we will be in an all-new set. This is kind of new-ish, but because I just wanted to give something new for the new year. But next week, we'll be, we will be in our new set, in our frequent set for every week. So, yeah, I just had to put that little tidbit in there. But now, let's get into our looks. Last time you saw me, we were doing the end of the year special and I hope you guys check that out if you didn't it's on my YouTube page um, obviously you're watching my video right now so all you have to do is go over to my channel and you can see it says Bria's Closet end of the year 2014 special I hope you guys check that out I'm sorry that it was kind of like long it was like an hour and nine minutes mind you I cut stuff out so imagine if I didn't cut anything out it would have been even longer but I did cut stuff out I'm sorry that it was so long we, I just wanted to talk about everything of the whole year because my show did start in September and I didn't talk about stuff from January to August. So I just wanted to go over the whole year. It's really good even though it's long. You can stop it and come back or whatever. But just go check it out. Go over it. It's like really, really good. Thank you again to my friends for helping me out. And for this new year of Bria's Closet, I do want to do more of panels, more panels. Uh, not more of. I want to do more panels. <laughs> um, I also will try to make my videos 15 to 20 minutes. No more than 20 minutes. I will try, try, try my hardest. Because who wants to sit and watch a video for an hour or two hours? No one. So I will definitely try to make my video 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I also have other notes that I want to say. Um, I will be doing more event talks. Like the Grammys that's coming up and the Golden Globes. When I, when I do talk about awards, I'm going to narrow them down in for my five, five top looks. In those top looks, it will be bad and good looks. And I will narrow, narrow them down from five, four, three, two, one. So five being the worst 
and then in order to the best. So that's what I'll do for events like the Grammys and award shows and stuff. I also want to do more style segments. That's why I need my clothing rack because on the clothing rack I'll have like stuff that I want to style and I have models and well not real models but whoever just wants to be on the show I'll put the clothes on them. That's what I want to do. Um, also I want to do more street segments. Um, I will try to frequently update my blog. <laughs> I slack on my blog post, but I will try to update it more. I'll give more fashion advice. I want to start doing interviews and interviewing people because I do want to do like um, red carpet interviews and stuff like that. So I definitely want to do more interviews. Um, I said already more panels. I'm going to do continue the trend of the week. And um, that will also involve my clothing rack because <laughs> I would have the trend of the week on the clothing rack and then I'll pick it out and talk about it. I also want to do something called Bria's Picks where I pick an item, either male or female or both, and you guys, I'll tell you the stores to go buy it. So that's called Bria's Picks. Um, I also want to do how-tos, like how to put this kind of outfit together or together, uh, what hairstyle to put, how-to videos. Um, I also gonna start doing my own personal photo shoots where I style and I ask people who wants to model for me. Um, again, I said more blog posts and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Bria Van Kooten and my Twitter is the same at Bria Van Kooten. Um, my Tumblr is Bria Van Kooten. Tumblr.com. My blog is BriaVanKooten.blogspot.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and share my video. Subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way before I start the video. So now, let's definitely now, we're going to get into some looks. Okay, so 2014 ended with Kanye West, my uncle Kanye, being named GQ's most stylish man of 2014. Yes, they couldn't, I believe, they couldn't have picked anyone better. I feel like Kanye West definitely deserves that honor. He proved himself in 2014 that he is the most stylish man in the industry, in the business, period. Like, we all know, we see Kanye walk around, we see how he dresses North, how he dresses Kim. Like, he takes his styling very, very seriously. We've heard him rant in many interviews of how he wants to be one of the best designers, how he is an amazing stylist. We've seen him do it all, and I definitely agree with GQ. He definitely deserves this. I look at Kanye as one of the best dressed men in the industry, one of the best dressed men that I know, period. And he, kudos to Kanye. You definitely deserve that. And congratulations. And again, like I said in two videos ago, Kanye West is getting the Vision Every Award at the 2015 BET Honors. So stay tuned for that. It will be next month, February, February 2015. Okay, so in my end of the year special, I did talk about Fashion Police. And literally right after I recorded my end of the year special, it was announced that Fashion Police will be coming back this Sunday. Well, no, sorry. This Monday, next Monday, <laughs> January 12th. Yes, January 12th. It will be back next Monday, January 12th with the Golden Globe special. If you don't know, the Golden Globe is this Sunday, January 11th. So make sure you check out the Golden Globes and then make sure you check out Fashion Police next Monday, January 12th at 9 p.m. on E. I will be watching Fashion Police, like I said in the end of the year special, because I do want to see how the show progresses without Joan Rivers. Again, if you did not watch my end of the year special yet, I will say, uh, like I said in there, um, Juliana Rancic is back, Kelly Osborne is back, and we are welcoming Kathy Griffin, Kathy Griffin, and Brad Goreski, who was Rachel um, Zoe's assistant, personal assistant. So make sure you watch Fashion Police Monday, January 12th at 9 p.m. on E. And if you do watch the Golden Globes, it does come on this Sunday. I will be watching because I have some personal favorite nominees that I would like to see win. And I watch every award show just so I can see the looks. That's like my favorite part. <laughs> so yeah. 
Okay, so if you didn't know, on Monday, one of my favorite actresses in the world, yes, I'm talking about Cameron Diaz, she got married to Benji Madden. If you don't know, Benji and his twin brother, Joel, who is married to Nicole Richie, they, are, they were in the group um, Good Charlotte. Who doesn't know Good Charlotte? If you don't know Good Charlotte, go YouTube them and you'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> so Cameron and Benji have been dating for the past eight months and they've only been engaged for one month and they are married. <laughs> um, the wedding dress has not been revealed as of yet. I'm dying to see what she wore because Cameron Diaz, she has an amazing body and she looks good in pretty much like anything. So I'm really excited to see what her wedding dress looks like. And um, if you don't know, Cameron Diaz said she would never, ever, ever get married. Like she said she's not the wedding girl type. So for her to get married after only eight and a half months, that's so amazing. Um, in an interview this week, she said Benji is the best man ever. So obviously we know what changed her mind because she just she really fell in love. Like she really really loves him. Um, and I'm just I'm just happy for her. Like, like I said before, she's one of my favorite actresses. I'm very happy. And just I wish them a long 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 marriage of happiness and success. And I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to see the wedding dress. You best believe when I find the wedding dress. I will be talking about this wedding until I see the wedding dress so I can talk about that. And of course, people, Nicole Richie was one of her um, bridesmaids, um, Drew Barrymore, Gwen Paltrow was there, just, you know. And to top it all off, Cameron, because you know, the Golden Globes is this Sunday, so Cameron Diaz said, told all of her guests that she's having a Golden Globe pre-party just to get them to her house so they won't know that she was getting married. Like, that was just amazing, and if you didn't see Annie yet, Cameron Diaz stars with Miss Hannigan in the new Annie, starring Kovan Janae Wallace and Jamie Foxx. Make sure you go check it out, it was really good, I really enjoyed it. I love the updated music, and just again, congratulations to Cameron, Cameron and Benji. So if you didn't know if you're living under a rock for the past couple of months, <laughs> um... There will be, Lifetime is doing a Whitney Houston biopic on Whitney Houston's life, on her relationship with Bobby Brown and her music career. The movie will be premiering on Lifetime on January 17th, not this Saturday, the following Saturday at 8 p.m. Please, please, please support this movie. I am like really excited about this movie because I know it's going to be amazing. And the reason why I'm talking about this, why it's relating to fashion, because this week was the premiere of the movie and I have to talk about Miss Angela Bassett, the director of the movie. It's titled Whitney, it's the perfect title. And Miss Angela, first of all, let's start off by saying Angela Bassett is 56 years old. So now let me put up the picture. And she looks amazing. Body on fleek. <laughs> Her abs, like she's 56. Like Miss Angela, here is popping. She's giving you white two top crop top realness abs showing. The black suit, I love the black on white. That's like my favorite thing to wear. The python open toe pumps. Miss Angela, you look amazing, amazing, amazing. I just had to put that in there. And for let's talk about this Whitney Houston movie for a second. Why I know it's gonna be good, because first of all, Angela Bassett is the director. And we all know that Miss Angela Bassett can act. She is my favorite actress overall like I have a lot of favorite actresses but she is definitely number one like then let's not forget she played Tina Turner she played Biggie's mother um she played Rosa Parks let's not forget Waiting to Exhale let's not forget um Akila and the Beast she played Kiki Palmer's mother like she is such an amazing Actress, like I could sit here and name all of her movies and the amazingness of Angela Bassett, but I just know it's gonna be good because she just does amazing roles. She can act and she knows what it takes to make an amazing biopic. 
never mind the shade from the Houston family to Yaya, because Yaya DaCosta, one of my fave America's Next Time Model contestants, like, I really wanted Yaya to win over Eva, like, you know, I would never forget season three, I cried when Yaya lost, like, Yaya, if you're watching this, I cried when you lost, like, so I'm just so happy that you're in this role, if you don't know, Yaya was in The Butler, and she was in this movie with Antonia Banderas, like a dancing movie, I forgot what it was called, and yeah, I've been following her career, like, yes, Yaya, I've been following you. And I'm just happy that you're playing with Houston. The pictures that I've seen in the trailer look amazing. Really forget the Houston family. They want to talk about letting Nippy rest, letting Whitney rest. But right after she died, y'all had a whole reality show. Like, let's not forget that. Y'all had a reality show two months after she died. Did an Oprah interview three months after that. Like, y'all not letting her rest. So, I don't see a problem with the movie. Um, Deborah Kudos to Deborah Cox, the songs that I've heard. Um, Bobby Christina want to throw shade at Angela Bassett. Like, could you believe that Bobby Christina is calling Angela Bassett a hermaphrodite? She is saying that Angela Bassett is a woman and a man, that she has man parts. How dare Bobby Christina Brown call Angela Bassett a man? when she looks like Bobby Brown. Like, she's mad because she wanted to play her mother. Bobby Christina, listen to me here. Hello. Hi. You cannot play Whitney Houston. You do not look like your mother. Like, you look like Bobby Brown. You could play Bobby, like, because <laughs> at first I was like, why is this man playing Bobby Brown? They should have got Bobby Christina to play Bobby Brown. Like, but, like, stop throwing shade at Angela. Houston family, get over it. And I'm just excited for this movie. Again, it's coming on January 17th at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Make sure you check it out. Wednesday night, January 7th, was the People's Choice Awards. So I'm just going to talk about the five top looks of the People's Choice Awards. Like I said in the beginning of the video, when I do awards talk, I'm going to narrow it down to the five looks. All of the five are not good. They're good and bad looks. So I'll narrow it down from the worst being five, and then one being my fave. So we're going to start off with Portia de Rossi and Zuhir Murad. And if you don't know, Portia de Rossi is Ellen DeGeneres' wife. And I hated this look. Oh my gosh, Portia. Like, first of all, Portia is beautiful, and she has an amazing body. And this dress, this, it was a jumpsuit, was just a hot ass mess. I did not like this jumpsuit at all. First of all, I just did not like it. Like the bottom of the the um the jumpsuit was open. The bell bottom type style is like cool for certain looks, even for some jumpsuits. But for this, it wasn't it. And I feel because it was so tight in the crotch area that because it went down tight and then it just got open, it didn't look good. Like I felt it was big from like the thigh and then it got big it would look better i did not like the designs the mesh in the middle this jumpsuit was just bad and then she turned around and just looked i just did not like this at all i really did not like it i'm sorry portia hopefully you're renewed for another season of scandal <laughs> but i did not like it um my next the number four that was number five Number four would have to go to Bella Thorne. Uh, if you don't know, Bella Thorne was on the show, Shake It Up, with my sis Zendaya. And Bella Thorne, again, I hated this. First of all, Bella Thorne, I'm sorry, but you cannot dress, sweetheart. Like, you were cute on Shake It Up. It was cute, your little outfits. But the looks that you wear at award shows in real life are not hot. Like, I'm so sorry, sweetie. But you... It, no. First of all, like... I feel like you, like, I don't know if you dress yourself or you have a stylist. If you have a stylist, then your stylist does no, not know how to dress you appropriate for your age. Sometimes you look like you're too young to be wearing something, and then sometimes you just look too old to be wearing something, and sometimes the outfits make you look elderly. This is one outfit that really made you look elderly. Like, this suit looks, like, you can wear a suit at your age. She's 18. You can wear a suit, but this suit was not the right thing for you it was just not cutting in then you had your out 
couldn't even, I had to like really look really good to make sure that I was Bella Thorne because she came out with the Kylie Jenner lips and I'm like, what? Like that's Bella Thorne. And then the shoes were a hot ass mess. I did not like this at all. Like, please step your game up, Bella. Like, you and Zendaya came from the same show. And Zendaya slays. Like, I understand Zendaya is the biggest star, but I'm pretty sure people want to dress you. Like, these designers love dressing hot young girls. And I'm sure you have designers knocking on your door to dress you so please please step it up for these this award season i am praying i am praying and that's all i'm gonna give to this so the number three look would have to go to viola davis and viola davis won an award last night for how to get away with murder it was um i think best new tv show and so congratulations viola and viola is an amazing viola is an amazing actress she, I love this magenta pink gown. The only bad thing I have to say, I really love the dress. I love the, the color on your skin, but you just look so masculine in it. Like she's standing up in the dress like like a football player. First of all, we all if you saw Vi if you see Viola walk, she walks like a football player. But I did not expect her arms to look like that. Like I really did not expect her to have the Michelle Obama arms. And not even like Michelle Obama arms, because even when Michelle Obama wears dresses like this, her arms look amazing. Like, but even Angela Bassett has like really masculine arms, but he, her arm just looked really like a bodybuilder. And it just didn't look ladylike in this dress. And you're wearing pink, it's girly, and, but you look like a football player. And, but other than that, <laughs> I thought the color was amazing. You look beautiful. And just congratulations. I cannot wait for How to Get Away with Murder to come back. I'm so excited but yeah okay and the number two look I'm gonna have to give it to Ellen Pompeo in Ellie Saab and if you don't know Ellen Pompeo plays Meredith Grey on Grey's Anatomy and Ellen Pompeo also won an award last night um I think it was yes yeah, obviously it's for Grey's Anatomy I don't remember what the category was but yes, congratulations to Ellen. And I really, really like this jumpsuit. This is how you do a jumpsuit, Portia. Like you see how like it's big from the top and it just gets big from the bottom. It's not fitted and tight in the crotch and then get big. It gets big. Like it's big. I love the bell bottoms. I wish that it was a little shorter because I feel like you probably tripped a little <laughs> during the red carpet. I wish it was like cut a little up. But other than that, I love, love, love this. I love the color. I love the cleavage. I love the hair. You look beautiful. I just love how low key you are. And then when you come to award shows, you just kill it. And that's what I really, really like about you, Ellen. And just, you look amazing. I really like this jumpsuit. Like, that's, I have nothing bad to say. And my number one look from the People's Choice Awards will have to go to Miss. Juliana Rancic, yes, I love me some Juliana Rancic. I love the love, the love this dress. It was just so playful, so cute. I love the um, material. I love the shoes, the peep toe, the pointed, sorry, not peep toe, the pointed tip with the clear that's very trendy. 2014 coming into 2015. I love the love, love the hair. I just love this. Like when I saw it, I was like, yes, Juliana, yes, slay me. Come back to fashion, please, and slay me. And I like I been I've been saying I hate when the non movie stars and non singers and looks better than. The people who, like, because Juliana is a fashion correspondent. We all know she works for E, she's on Fashion Police and all that. She does interviews. She has her own Juliana Rancic um, interview where she interviews celebrities. But she's not, like, an actress or a singer or anything. And she looks better than these actresses and singers. Like, I don't understand. I hate when that happens, but I guess it's supposed to happen that way. And I, I love, 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 love this dress. I love it. That was definitely my number one favorite. Um... Yeah, I was not really excited about these looks from the People's Choice Awards. I hope that the Golden Globes really excite me. I 
really excited to see those looks because that's when everybody comes out and shines. So I'm hoping that it's not a disappointment. So, yeah, that's those are the people choice looks. Top five. Okay, so that is the end of another Bria's Closet episode. Again, thank you guys for watching. Welcome to a new year. Happy New Year again. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas, enjoyed your New Year. Um, before I go, I just want to point out my new logo, Bria's Closet. Shout out to the artist and designer, me, myself, she, me, her, Bria Van Kooten. Yes, I did this. And shout out to iPhones, like they have such amazing apps on iPhones and iPads and Macs and all that, like the apps and all that are amazing. You can really do anything on your iPhone these days. So definitely, um, thank you guys again for watching. Um, next week I will be in my new set, you will see my clothing rack. Like it's definitely 454 and UPS has still not been here i'm still waiting so next week i will be in my new set in the basement with my lighting and my clothing rack and everything and i'm just so excited for that i really wanted to do that today but i still have to bring you my episode and my fashion talk so again thank you for watching i'll see you guys next friday at 6 p.m again follow me on instagram at bria van Kooten. my twitter is the same at bria van Kooten. run over to my fashion blog i have a new blog post it's entitled Happy New Year and it's briavancooten.blogspot.com. Um, yeah, thank you guys again for watching. I'm really excited for this new year. I hope you guys stick it out with me and we're gonna just have some more fashion fun. Like, yer. <laughs> Bye guys. Peace and love. Oh no, we're not done yet. We have some bloopers for you. Hello everybody, I'm Bria Van Kooten and welcome back to another episode of Bria's Closet. Happy New Year and if it's uh, and this uh,